Good evening. Welcome to Grandma's Attic Music Review. I hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving and got to hang out with people you love and eat things you like to eat. It's what we do. Anyway, it's all about the music, right? So tonight, ah, I get to bring back to this stage um, just an incredible, incredible artist. He um, is unique and he writes his own music. And he runs a bunch of open mics, which we'll talk about in the interview. And he brings to the stage a flavor of perfection. When he plays, it's perfection. You'll hear his voice. You'll see his, his guitar playing. He doesn't just play guitar, by the way. But tonight, that's all he's playing. So um, he's been around for a while. He's been here on this show before. And you may have seen some reruns of his show in the last... I don't know, a few months, because we like him, and we put him up often. So anyway, enough of me yammering on and on and on about our incredible guest. Please welcome into your heart, into your home, and into your hearing, Mr. J.D. Wise. Thanks, Dad. That's right. My name is J.D. Wise, and this is my latest single called Visceral Emotion. Making the most of this Saturday evening Witches and wizards got down on their knees when they were not okay Nervously asking to meet you at sundown You give me your silence, I'll give you my rundown smile If just for a while Let me be the one to make a change There was no persistence all the same When one door closes, another one opens That's when they tell you your halo is broken Honestly didn't know what I was hoping College, I failed at adulting. Thank God I came. They say that the paintings were evoking such a visceral emotion that there could not be any subtlety. And they said it's all the same, but I swear if there's one thing that I know, it's that the change in our Survey. Were they all acts of affection or were they lies? And alibis. Was he the first one to ever have seen you? I still can't believe that you let it continue on when it was wrong.
to be a several emotion that they could not be any sovereignty. And they said you're not to blame, but I swear I saw you with the gas can driving circles around the ashram. You're spreading something sure as heck and peace. I like that. Thank you. And uh, disclaimer, I am not meaning to take the Lord's name in vain in any way. And that word was not heck in the original lyrics. So <laughs> You can swear on this show. Ah, okay. Well, I think that was the only time I was going to verge on it. This next song is one that I'm also working on with Bob Tyler, who nice. produced that song. He's out of Colchester. And um, this song is one of my favorite turns of phrases that I've done. It's called Measure Once Cut Twice. Didn't we say we never asked to make a change? Didn't it seem like we could always stay the same? All of these questions and millions more Still seem to haunt the outer reaches of my door don't ever want to point the problem out for spite But sometimes your heart won't let you choose another vice Don't try to fight the urges you can't comprehend Casually cling to former lovers like their friends. Where did we go? How come nobody found us? We both know that wasn't very nice. Measure once. Cut twice Don't want to run from all your troubles and your woes You wait for the wind and when it's in You say these flows you thought it'd be cooler, but you let it drift away. You thought it'd be breezy when you made your gate away. Food on 
on the gas 95 on the freeway The officer stopped us and read us our rights <clears throat> Measure once, cut twice Three times too many Guarantees, but I still can't believe it go down well. Nothing's for certain except for screen curtains on screen doors. And things that you say you did yesterday with no remorse. More than before. You're beginning to value The worth of a minor sacrifice Measure once, cut twice Measure once, cut twice Thank you very much. Uh, no release date set for that one yet, but um, hopefully not too long. This next song is a cover from one of my favorite albums of all time, Band on the Run, which turns 50 next week. Nice. Yes. This is by Paul and Linda McCartney, of course, and uh, sending my well wishes to Denny Lane as well. Um, <clears throat> this is called Bluebird. Late at night when the wind is still, I'll come flying through your door. And you know what love is for. I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, yeah, yeah. I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, I'm a bluebird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch your lips with a magic kiss and to be a bluebird too. And you'll know what love can do. You're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird. You're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bluebird, oh. bluebird, oh. bluebird. Fly away through the midnight air as we head across the sea. And at last we will be free. You're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, you're a bluebird, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bluebird, oh, bluebird, oh, bluebird. And we're flying in 
nicely done. Thank you very much. This uh, next song is what I consider, for the time being, the third song in the Driving Route 9 trilogy. Uh, I, I played and wrote with them pre-pandemic, and I just reunited with them a bit to uh, play mandolin at a few of their gigs. Um, and <clears throat> I was also baptized in the Irish rain this summer, which helped me to complete this song, which is um, part of their brand of Celtic rock, as I like to call it. And if I wasn't sweating before, I'm gonna get a workout doing this one. This is called Run. <laughs> Where is the freedom in planning your family affair? Who is the governing body that lets you breathe air? No one that I know and no one that you know so there. Don't say you love her, don't even offer her a ring. Even has time for that kind of thing Do you want to be married Or just think about marrying If rules weren't meant to be broken Then guidelines are second to none But you don't have to answer to nobody You're still young Run But surely you get in a rhythm, you know The earth stares in motion, it's swirling around you below We're all just two drivers on opposite sides of the road The reason you thought about running Is stuck on the tip of my tongue but you don't have to answer to nobody You're still young Run! Run from all of your troubles and make a fresh start Run to the beat of the burden that sounds in your heart Run on believing that peace is the sum of its past Somewhere in my infinite wisdom I never thought to ask you how come But you don't have to answer to nobody You're still young Run! Run up the town at your favorite hotel Run through the fire, you do it so well Run like a racehorse and fix to a grand carousel
you moving. Oh, yes, it did. And it also got me ripped up vocally. Woo-hoo! Uh, yeah, that calls for a throat wash. And so with this next song, I'm going to pay tribute to the late, great Jimmy Buffett, who um, wrote some of my favorite songs, but I just didn't realize it until he passed. <clears throat> this is one of his uh, lesser hits, but it's still a great song. Probably my favorite of the non-tropical ones. This is called Come Monday. Heading up to San Francisco for the Labor Day weekend show. I got my hush puppies on. I guess I never was meant for glitter, rock and roll. And honey, I didn't know that I'd be missing your soul. Come Monday, it'll be all right. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze, and I just want you back by my side. Yes, it's been quite a summer. Red cars and westbound trains. Now you're off on vacation. Something you tried to explain. And honey, since I love you so, that's the reason I just let you go. Come Monday, it'll be alright. Come Monday, I'll be holding you tight. I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze, and I just want you back by my side. I can't help it, honey. If that much a cloud of me now. Remember that night in Montana when we said there'd be no room for doubt. I hope you're enjoying the scenery. I know it's pretty up there We can go hiking on Tuesday With you I'd walk anywhere California has worn me quite thin I just can't wait to see you again Come Monday, it'll be alright Come Monday I'll be holding you tight. I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze. And I just want you back by my side. I spent four lonely days in a brown LA haze. And I just want you back by my side. Speaking of tributes, the last time I was on this show, the late, great Dave O'Donnell was still with us. Yes, he was. And um, that was March 2021. We lost him that August. And Dot had him on her show that June. And that was an amazing, amazing episode. Everybody was scrambling to it so they could learn his songs in tribute. Um, that's how I learned 99 to 1, so I could play it out everywhere. Um, but I also ended up writing this song as a tribute to his boisterous baritone. And I think 
I'm going to lower the key today just to make sure I don't screw it up. Um, after he passed, we all kind of became Guardians of the Growl, which is the title of this song, and I kind of wrote it in his style. Hope you enjoy. Oh, brother, tell me it isn't so. I'm putting on a concert. I said you were going to go. Whoa, whoa. I wonder why. I wonder why, and it's all I can do. It goes without saying that I do the same for you. I see when I get there, sincerely, your long lost path. Self-appointed guardian of the ground. Yeah, yeah. There was always something more to say. Please and thank you for giving me a chance to play hey, hey. We were the 99 and you were the one A saint and a sinner The man with the golden love I went to your doctor, I asked him his name, he said it's how. He wrote a prescription for the guardian of the ground, yeah, yeah. What are we gonna do now? It seems an impossible quandary We're taking a solemn vow To keep your legacy growing Like my pile of dirty laundry Labeled yourself a pro on the grounds you always got paid. That's from Dot's interview with him. But those in the know knew the reasons there were in spades. Knew how to felt like Mariah, happy it is not. Down. The rest of the time, measured he, she, and I had the sweetest sound. You want us to carry on, and so I guess we shall. Broken. 
guardians of the Okay, do you want to do one more song and then come yeah, back to me? Yeah, that's that's perfect. That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> Great minds think alike, my friend. Great minds think alike. This show is airing in December, which is a month where a lot of us think about John Lennon, especially on the eighth. And uh, this is a song that John wrote in 1977, and then. Um, more recently, it was completed by Paul and Ringo um, with some input from George in the 90s. Of course, I'm talking about Now and Then, which came out this month. We're taping November 2nd, and I actually played it at open mic the day it came out, and I'm going to play it for you now. I know it's true. It's all because of you And if I make it through It's all because of you And now and then If we must start again Well, we will know for sure That I, I will love you Now and then I miss you
Thank you, everybody. Thank you awesome. to John Paul, George, and Ringo. So, <laughs> sorry. Well, JD's getting over here and getting settled in with his mic and things. Let me remind you of amazing things going on in the city of New London. There is so many activities that are being offered during the holidays, and I really would like you all to get out there and support local art, local business. The Hygienic has a small gift um, exhibit right now. Everything in, the, everything in the gallery is for sale. It's all small gifts, um, none of them overly expensive. They're, it's all done by local artisans. Um, paintings, jewelry, woodworking. There's um, a guy that makes knives, and they're just, they're amazing. Um, just get down there and check it out. There's also a new business around the corner from there called the Golden Owl. And she's got, yeah, notions and potions and books and crooks, and get in there and check her out too. The Telegraph is having music almost every weekend. As a matter of fact, every weekend from now until January, I guess. So get out, support local live uh, art, not just music. Support it all and shop local because if you shop in the big box stores, you know what's going to happen? Your money goes away. If you shop local, your money stays local, and we like that. So let's talk to JDs, okay? Hi. Hello. Welcome back. It's good it, to be here. It's so good to have you back in the house. A little sadness there with Dave's passing and you bringing that back forward for me. But mm. thank you. Thank you yeah. for that. He was a fun interview. He was a fun interview, and he certainly had a personality big enough to support being here, like you do, too. Oh. So how long... Let's... We, we probably talked about this last time you were here, but we have new viewers now, so we want to tell them all the good stuff about you. How long have you actually been playing music? Um, were you, like, coming out of the womb playing? <laughs> oh, I had a bunch of toy guitars growing up, and my parents set me up a, with a piano teacher at four. Nice. Yeah. Except they never practiced. I still don't, mostly. That's because you're brilliant. Well, I, I just prefer spontaneity, but... Um, no, there, there's something to be said for practice. There definitely. is. There is. How many instruments do you play in total? I know you play the guitar and the piano and the mandolin. Keep going. Guitar, piano, mandolin, bass, drums, recorder. Um, I just started on Penny Whistle after Ooh, I got back Ooh, that's Ireland. fun. Yeah. Um, and then if you count all the other string instruments. And Banjo. Percussion, um, not, not so banjo, much. no. But uh, I, if you get technical, I would still say it's in the double digits. How does it feel to be that talented? Um, it's it's fun. Um, it's just a matter of feeling talented as I do it. Because um, as I keep playing these different instruments, I come across some technique that I'm not fully skilled enough to know but then you learn it i know you then you yeah. learn it because Let you, learn. Yes. you bring it to the table you're involved with many open mics you play it all of them <laughs> which ones are you actually running right now uh right now it's two um the occasional host at uh dexter's tunes tales and ales uh, that's Thursday nights in East Hampton. Mm -hmm. um, so, cool venue, by the way. Yes, yes, it is. And then um, either once or twice a month, I run the open mic at the Buttonwood Tree in Middletown, which is also a great space. It's a, it's the Buttonwood Tree Center for the Performing Arts. Right. Am I right? Yes. And um, they can use our support. I'm just saying they could use our support. It's a small venue. It seats between 35 and 50 people, depending on the night. And um, they're just all about supporting local musicians and artists and comedians and poets. And if you perform, they're about supporting you. And uh, 
yeah, get out there and support the Buttonwood. They've been there for musicians, and musicians are now coming around to be there for them. Yes, and it's not just musicians there. It's every talent. We actually advertise the Monday open mic as anything goes. So we loop in poetry, comedy, karaoke, anything you want. Maybe I'll come out there and perform. Ooh. I don't know what I'd do. Jump off a bridge? I don't know. I'd come out there and uh, say something. Aragonese right there. Huh? Well, there you go. <laughs> That's so much fun. Uh, when you're playing, I've seen you sit down at a piano and you seem to become absorbed. For someone that started at four and didn't practice, you're really good. You become absorbed and become one with that instrument. Do you feel like the piano is one of your favorite instruments? Yeah, uh, going back to the double digits, um, <laughs> I'm not that really coordinated with both my hands, but I love playing the melodica, which is just the right hand. Ah. And a tune. Yeah, I picked that up from John Batiste. It's really fun. That's fun. That's yeah. fun. You know who else plays that? Is uh, Dana Newman. Yes, we <laughs> talked about it on end. She's a lot of fun, too. Mm -hmm. So you know so many musicians. Who, who are some of your favorite locals to play with? Oh, well, for blues guitar, it's got to be Ryan Newman from Righteous Continental. He's brilliant. Yeah. He, he's brilliant. He's brilliant. I'm just uh -huh. saying, he's brilliant. And when I met him, he was so very, very young. Mm. And, um, yeah, I think he's building guitars now, too. Yeah, he uh, he just built a green Stratocaster. I thought I saw that posted. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, he's brilliant. He does um, amazing things with music. So he's your blues guy. My Celtic group is obviously Driving Route Nine. Driving Route Nine. Uh, I I was playing bass with them a bit pre-pandemic, but I pivoted to mandolin more recently. Um, they've actually had me sneak into the Irish club in Glastonbury and play there. I'm from Glastonbury, so I guess I get away with it. Right, 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 yeah. right. So I look at the mandolin, and it's got so many strings, because it's like hmm. eight strings doubled up, right? Uh, right. It just seems so complicated. Um, I thought so, too, growing up, but on a whim, I bought a cheap one when I was 15, and I quickly figured out that it was just um, the intervals of a guitar turned upside down. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Yeah. It's, it's, it's an incredible little instrument. Now, you also songwrite, which for me, I can't. I, I can't. Oh. When you're writing a song, do you hear in your head the other instruments that you may want to put with the song that you're writing? Um, kind of. Um, even with Bob Tyler, I've basically done all the instrumentation myself and I did that on all my other CDs. Um, the latest one full length is uh, Hindsight is 2020 and I, I have that. Yeah I did that in quarantine um, kind of as a tribute to Paul McCartney's quarantine project the uh, third installment of his uh, self-titled trilogy. Right. Yeah it was fun to do that. Um, yeah he kind of inspired me to just try learning the drums Nice. How's that coming for you? Are you having fun with that? Um, yeah, but I have a long way to go. <laughs> okay. I think if I was ever going to play, I, I dabbled in piano, I dabbled in trombone and accordion. I found that I play best the radio, mm. but um, if I was ever going to sit down and really learn an instrument, it would be the drums because I feel like I have that rhythm. And it just seems like it would be fun to hit people on the head. <coughs> right? I right? mean, if you have the aggression going in, that's a great way to <laughs> bash it out. And then um, if you have the hand-eye coordination, too. Uh-huh. That's the problem I have. Like, I'm just hand, so hand uncoordinated. Foot. Yeah, hand, all of that. Foot. Hand, yeah, foot. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, but it's so much fun. I used to mm -hmm. have, um, I used to have the drummer from... Uh, the um, Johnny Winter Band, I had his drumsticks, and I would play them in, on my dashboard in my car, mm -hmm. thinking I was all cool and stuff. Somehow they disappeared, but 
such as life. So when you're writing a song, do you write the tune first or do you write the lyrics first? Um, I try to have a music bed ready to go and then I'll write down little anecdotes along the way mm -hmm. as I go through life and mm -hmm. try to incorporate them into a song. Do you have a notebook or do you use your pad? Um, I prefer the notebook. It's weird. I, I like to write things down too. In pen and, yeah, pen and paper. That's about the only thing I write down. So Really? I know. I have, I have a great mental capacity for some reason. Well, you're pretty smart. You're oh, pretty thanks. smart. So you have a bunch of albums out that people can get hard copies of. Where can people get hard copies of your albums? Um, well, you can follow me. Um, I'm JD Wise on Facebook and then Instagram. It's at JD Wise Official. And I'll be posting about some gigs I have around Connecticut. And CDs will be for sale there. And then you can also buy them online at Bandcamp. Nice. JDWise.bandcamp.com. Nice. You have singles that have dropped that are not on hard copy yet. Where can right. people, is that just on Bandcamp or it's, can people find it It's streaming everywhere. Everything is streaming. Everything is streaming everywhere. You can find his music everywhere. And I think I have at least three of your albums. Oh, uh, I only have two albums and an EP, so you must have well, everything. I have, I have everything then. Uh -huh. So, yeah, and they're all really, really good and fun to listen to and engaging because your writing makes people think, oh. which is a good thing. Um, when, when you're performing with other people, I see that you kind of like to step back a little bit and let other people take the front. Is that, because when you're here by yourself, <clears throat> you're definitely a front man. That's just uh, from years of pissing people off by overplaying. <laughs> So I tried to <laughs> settle back and listen to them instead. Okay. Okay. So for Celtic it's this. Um, let's talk about our friend. Wanna talk about somebody? Sure. Let's dish about let's dish about yeah. Terry. Oh. We're gonna dish about Terry. What do you think of Terry? She's amazing. Wonder Woman. She is. She's got a big S tattooed on her chest. You just can't see it. Mm-hmm. She's, she's incredible. What do you think of her songwriting? I, I'm jealous of her prolificness. She's very, very pro prolific. How many, she's put out so many albums it's in like the last It's like a song week. a day. It does, it feels like that, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So um, we're, today, the, this night that this show is airing is December 3rd. Where can people find you for the rest of the month? Do you have some shows that people can find you at between now and January? Um, not scheduled. Really? Probably enough. But you'll see me at open mics for sure. Okay. All right. Well, you can find him on jdwise.bandcamp.com. .bandcamp. I'm the um, official. JDWise official. Is that what it's called? On Instagram. On Instagram. And JD Wise on Facebook. And find him, follow him, check out his music, and do me a favor. Do me a favor. Like all of it because it's amazing. JD, thank you so much for coming to the yes. attic. Will you take us out with the song? I would love to. Awesome and wonderful. So, this has been JD Wise. He's been bringing us music. He has a wonderful collection of not just originals but he flavors up those those tribute songs that he does um he likes john lennon what Not a lovely the, transition yeah. by the way <laughs> because we're filming this on november 29th and so that's the anniversary of george harrison's passing and so this is the title track of his 1970 solo album Sunrise doesn't last a morning. Cloudburst 
doesn't last all day Seems my love is up and it's left you with no warning It's not always gonna be this great All things must pass All things must pass away Sunset doesn't last all evening The mind can blow those clouds away After all this, my love is up and must be leaving It's not always gonna be this great All things must pass All things must pass away Another day now, the darkness on the stays at night time. In the morning, it will fade away. Daylight is good at arriving at the right time. It isn't always gonna be. All things must pass All things must pass away All things must pass All things must pass away Thank you, George. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Dot. Thanks to the crew. This has been great.